there were two teenage friends living in the same location. Their names were Zoli and Luyanda. They were coming from different backgrounds. Luyanda had both parents but was not very open to them. Zoli was raised by a single parent with whom she used to talk a lot. These teenagers were beautiful, clever, and brilliant at school. As the time goes on, the two girls met other friends at school. Zoli found out that these new friends always talked about dating. Her mother always said she must not date. She must first finish studying, not to end up like her as a single parent. Luanda was very interested to this dating talk. Later on, two boys, Bongani and Sia, were interested in these girls. Sia was interested in Zoli and Bongani in Luyanda. Zoli was not interested at all. But Luyanda did give Bongani a chance to fall in love with her. Luyanda's affair with Bongani went on and she dropped in her studies and failed test because she was concentrating on her boyfriend. Zoli said no to sex as her plans were to finish studying. She tried to advise Luyanda not to fall in love and told her that to have sex sometimes can delay studies, but she did not listen and carried on to her choice. Four months later, Luyanda fell pregnant and also got infected with HIV. She dropped out at school, as school police at that time said, no pregnant teenagers are allowed to continue studying. Her relationship with Bongani was over after she broke the news. She delivered and became a single parent. She had to look for a job. On the other hand, Zoli finished her degree as a social worker. She had made the right choice to say no to sex. We as nurses have to educate mothers and their daughters that it is okay to say no to sex, no matter what others say. Teenagers have to learn to be strong and not let anybody bully them into doing what they don't want to do. Ultimately, it is you and your choices that will take you far.